Here are some notes on perioperative corneal abrasion. This is a common ocular complication after general anesthesia, often due to surgical drapes, the patient's mask, or solution spillage. The patient might have pain on blinking or eye movement, and they can also have a foreign body sensation in the eye, tearing, or photophobia. Some risk factors that happen during general anesthesia, the patient obviously has loss of pain sensation, reduced tear production, and absent corneal reflexes during anesthesia. To prevent this, as the anesthesiologist, you can tape eyelids closed during surgery. You can sometimes use protective goggles or lubricants, although lubricants are controversial because uh, they do sometimes make the patient rub their eyes after the procedure. Healing is generally pretty good. The corneal epithelial cells regenerate quickly and small abrasions typically heal within 24 hours. Treatment for small abrasions, you don't really need to do anything. They heal naturally, again, very quickly in a matter of a day or two. There's some people that use prophylactic antibiotic ointments, but this is controversial. Some people think it's overkill. And if there's vision loss, severe pain, or large complicated abrasions or foreign bodies, then you should do an ophthalmology consult. Differen differential diagnosis, some things to rule out. Interior or posterior ischemic optic neuropathy, which would be a sudden painless vision loss, optic disc changes, or pupillary defects. And of course, you want to rule out central uh, retinal artery occlusion, which is a sudden vision loss, cherry red spot, and pupillary defect.